And now we have um, the next box from Fire Forge. It's the Fire Forge Forgotten Worlds Northmen Cavalry. It's got kind of a Games of Thronesy uh, winter hold vibe to it. That particular kind of helmet. It's the front of the box. I like the colors of this one better. A lot easier to see what you're looking at. Backside, you have your model examples and all that fun stuff. Um, I like how that horn. The horn looks a lot more like a horn than most other horns do. So just like the last box, you have your rounds, you have your squares. Now I know it's, I know this is a guy who's commented on my last video saying, "Why you throw the circles away?" I have so many oval and circle squares. I honestly just at this point I throw them away because I don't even need them. No one I plays with need them, so they just kind of go in the trash. But, but I always keep these these, these rectangles though because these used for a lot of things. It looks like we have a command sprue, I think. Um, yeah, so we got, okay, so this is a little different. We have a command sprue, two rider sprues, and two horse sprues. We'll look at the horse, actually, let's look at the, the command sprue first. This is the different part from the other one. Uh, unfortunately, a cape got a little bumped up in transit. I'm going to pop that off real quick. Um, looks like we have two capes. Um, some little, some little money bags down here. Check this out. You got little, little sacks down here. It's pretty interesting. So you got little sacks, little haversacks, um, big old knapsack right here. You get a sword, you get a torch, you get a sword, you get a torch. Looks like um, one where he's gripping a scabbarded sword. So one of these is where he's grabbing a sword, so in a scabbard. That's an interesting choice. Huh. Uh, two swords, one with the sword, not in scabbard, but the hand is holding the scabbard. And I don't. It looks like the banner comes in two pieces. I'm not sure what to think about that because you see, you get this little slot right here where this banner is going to slide into. It's because you got a flat and a flat. But I've never really liked two-piece banners because you do it wrong, it's going to be may have a little bend in the middle. It might break, be a weak point. I've never really liked two-piece banners. So that's my, I think the only negative on the command sprue is that the banner came in two pieces. You sh they should just put it in one big piece right here and call it a day. Hmm. Oh, and one, one pointing hand. So, rather customizable sprue for what you get. The armor looks like padded, uh, maybe, forgot the word for it. This is like gambesons, kind of, like, kind of like a quilted gambeson and then like a, a collar put on top. But that's command sprue. Put this little cape right here. Look at the the horse sprue next. Now I like how on on this sprue, unlike the undead sprue, there's more armor to paint. I love painting armor, and it looks like the horses share the same kind of armor as the riders. It's kind of a horsey uh, horsey gambeson going on there. Some like some nice little horsey padding. Same same kind of glue pattern as the uh, undead horses. You have your hollows, you have your heads with the V cut, and kind of same thing in there. I like how all the horses have an armored plate on their heads. I like seeing that. I like a little bit of armored uniformity. It's already looking better than the undead sprue, I think, just in uh, just in uh, style and design principles. So you get two of those. Now we have the rider sprue. Looks like we're kind of stuck with just spears, or we have swords, and that's it. And looks like we have another an, 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 another uh, banner type situation here. So we have, so we have another spar with a flat you can put a put a banner on too. Also, like we have three shield arms, uh, three rider body, three rider legs, all in gambesons. And look at look at those those armored heads. They look like like winter hold skull caps. And they're all uniform. Um, I like the scale. The scale looks really good on these. And the faces aren't goofy. And I'm going to have pictures up of what I'm talking about. But like, if, what you, if it's between those faces and these faces, I mean, why buy the other ones, you know? I do kind of wish there were more weapons. The undead had a lot more weapons in this. Because the undead had like an axe, a flail, a mace, and a sword, and lances. This has just swords and lances, and that's really it. Kind of a shame. 
Um, also, I forgot to mention, um, all the shields have that nice wood grain, and I felt really bad. I didn't mention that in the last video. So, But the details are really good, actually. Um, like the buckles right here have little little buckle marks where the little spine is that comes out of it. And all the um, steel collars have rivets. So, well done on detail on these. Wow. This would be... It, these make it really easy to, to paint checker patterns because you know, the squares are already there. It's just got painting your checkers, do a wash, and you're done. But yeah, that's the, uh, the spruce, so put one together. And now we had the final result. Um, the front here, I did this because some of you guys are wondering the heights of different um, uh, Perry miniatures. Like these, these are the older versions. These are the newer versions. You can see there's a slight height difference between the two of those. This is the Perry miniatures, uh, one of the new Agincourt knights, I believe. Then you have the Fireforge um, Calverman, and then one of the uh, Perry miniatures um, mounted. I think it's a mounted sergeant, something like that. But that's how it looks. Um, I would say height and scale wise, it scales right in line with with Perry, uh, other, other Perry cavalry. Same head heights. Some uh, the horses might be might be slightly bigger. I like the um, gambesons on the horse and the actual rider. But yeah, really easy build. Um, just as easy as the uh, the undead knight from Fireforge. I prefer the fact that these horses have the same um, head plate and the same gambeson armor on the front. Um, it's much more uniform. It's much. It's just more more fun to paint in that regard. Uh, the riders. Uh, I wish they had more weapon varieties to them. Uh, that's a, a kind of a minor nitpick by me. Cause I wish I had you know the same variety the undead ones had. Because the undead ones had you know all the weapon choices. These guys just have sword and lance. That's really about it. And the guys who are asking for the the height scale. This right here would be the best scale right here for you. You have uh, the newer Perry and the older Perry right there. You can see there's a slight head height difference and more of a squatness to the models than, um, than what well, can be really seen on the website. But yeah, that'll do it for this review. So until I see you next time on the next um, review or whatever have you have next in store for you, keep a strong dice hand out there. Happy Wargaming. <laughs>